guys, I'm Crystal Marie, and you're watching the Two Minute Warning. A huge amount of money being made off college sports has led some to question whether student athletes should be paid. Millions of people are watching March Madness, advertisers are making boatloads of money, and so do schools and the NCAA, but not the players. According to Forbes, CBS and Turner Broadcasting make more than $1 billion off the games. The NCAA as a whole make $6 billion annually. Nas, I'm gonna start with you because I know you got heated behind the scenes. So should heated. college athletes be paid? College athletes should not be paid. They are amateur athletes. In return for them playing their, what, their respective sports, they get a free education. Whether they take advantage of that is their own business, but they don't need to be paid on top of getting free school. But the student athletes are the ones doing the work. They're going out there, they're, they're putting their lives on the line, they could potentially get injured. No one is forcing them to play the sport and for them playing the sport, they get a scholarship which includes free board, which includes meal plan. Therefore, they're getting compensated for their play. Brad Whitaker, you're about to pounce on him. Let me Tell just me. give you an idea of what Richard Sherman said about what his schedule was like in college at Stanford where he actually probably did receive an education unlike some of these other schools. He gets up, six in the morning, does weights, goes for a run, spends all day in classes, maybe has time for lunch, then has to go to practice, that could last three to four hours, and then whatever time he has left, he has to use that time to eat and then study the rest of the day. That is much harder than your typical eight hour job. These guys are not receiving an education, they can't focus, taking a Swahili class and a number of online courses isn't an education. But they are? on a huge platform and they are having the opportunity to one day play professionally and make millions of Or stuff. they that could get an education and then go get a job after they graduate and make money just like the rest of us. What is but the, he's saying that they can't even really pay attention because they are so busy training and practice. Most student athletes that I know were, A, they had to go to class, they had a coach check in on them to go to class and then they had study hours, required study hours where they had to go for a couple hours a day and do their homework. They want to sit in there and play on their iPhones, that's one thing. But if they want to like take their classes serious and get an education, that's another thing. Tell me what is morally wrong with paying at college athletes. Okay, so what's going to be the set thing you can pay? Because some conferences make much more money than other conferences. So then you're saying that these conferences like the SEC, the Big 12, and the ACC are going to have an advantage over the other schools who can't necessarily give their student athletes as much money. If as you are 18 years old, and you can go to war and die for your country, you can go to college and get paid a small stipend to play college basketball. Again, if you want to sign up and go to war, you make that choice. If you want to sign up and go to college and play sports, you make that choice. Let's say the NCAA did decide to pay these student athletes. How do you think they should go about doing it? Should the more elite athletes be paid more money or do you think they should each get a set amount of money? My issue isn't as much with should the schools pay the athletes, it's how the NCAA makes a consistent effort to stop players from being paid any type of compensation. Silas Nasida, he played for Baylor University, he was a football player. The guy was homeless and he was offered money by someone to live in a home for the summer so he's not living on the streets. And then two months later, what does the NCAA do? They go after Silas Nasida and now he's ineligible to play football. He's he, getting a little heated up. Yeah, Should we get you a tissue, he Bradley? He took an apartment so he was, wouldn't be homeless. I'm not against, say, taking some of this money that the NCAA makes, giving it back to the school so they can have a better structure. The schools but not to have the, the money. But not to the players. All right, clearly this is a controversial topic. I can't even get a word in, and this is my goddamn show. Even the President of the United States has chimed in. President Barack Obama has spoken out against compensation for college athletes. He says it would lead to bidding wars and ruin the sense of college sports. Even the president agrees with that. But hold on. What he says pisses him off, though, is seeing college coaches and the NCAA making huge amounts of money while an athlete gets banished after getting a tattoo or free use of a car. He says that's unfair. Do you think that these salaries that these coaches are making, are they fair? I think that's a different conversation. Um, but I'm bringing the topic up now, Nas, because again, this is my show. Do you think Nick Saban deserves four million dollars per year? Based on the market value of uh, winning head football coaches, he gets paid, He's I guess, incredible. adequately. Brad? Well, you know why they make so much money. You tell me why, Brad. I'll you tell, tell you me. why. All these universities, uh, the big ones, Alabama, they have to maintain a nonprofit status. So whatever extra revenue they have coming in, they need to spend that money. So they'll spend that money on coaching contracts, but most of the time they'll actually spend that money on athletic facilities. So you'll find that the Oregon Ducks, the Alabama Crimson Tide, 
they have much better facilities than most professional programs. Is it really going to hurt the integrity of college athletics to not pay the pay players a little bit of that money? Look, if your market value is enough that it's above $50,000, the tuition that it would cost to go to a private school, then you should be able to have that money to give to your family. I'm not this huge capitalist free market person, but if you have the ability to make that kind of money, legally you should be able to make that kind of money. The thing is, you are an amateur athlete, you don't That's get paid. That's just a word. Shouldn't the incentive enough be to get an education, a quality education? But it's so if not you that don't make simple. it to the pro, if you don't have how is the it money not that to simple? put food on the table, it's not that easy. If you're playing sports, you're getting food now. You're getting food, you're getting a place to live. So go to class and get an education and stop being lazy and like outside of the field. Like go to class, do your job, get an education, and if the pros don't work out, guess what? You're like the rest of us, get a job. So what if they have kids to feed? What if they have families who are poor? What about people who but don't play sports other, who have yeah, kids to feed? Who's the one making support? the money, not wow, just the people Wow, a twerk break would top. come in handy right now. <laughs>was an interesting segment. Uh, as you can see, I spoke two words, which you guys probably enjoyed. All right, the NCAA uses a player's name, image, and likeness to sell not only tickets to sporting events, but products. Should the student athletes get a cut? Comment below and let us know.